Hey guys, my name's Jack and this is my first video for Aviation Cult. Today's video is about the possibility that Airbus is considering building a freighter version of its slow selling A330neo. The demand for this aircraft has been spurred by requests from potential customers such as Amazon and UPS. The information for this video comes from an article in Bloomberg which states that if Airbus goes ahead with its cargo model, it could help lift sales of the A330neo, which is a re-engined version of the European plane maker's smallest wide body that has struggled in the marketplace. The aircraft has garnered 214 orders and lost a sale this month after Hawaiian Airlines cancelled their order for the A330-800 variant and switched to Boeing's 787 Dreamliner. Airbus has already been exploring ways to lift sales of the A330neo, including a pitch to boost its maximum takeoff weight. Both Seattle-based Amazon and UPS are asking Airbus to consider stretching the A330-900 variant's fuselage to carry more cargo while flying a shorter range. A freight variant would be a natural advancement of an aircraft that uses the same fuselage as its predecessor, the A330-CO. There is already a cargo version of the earlier model, though it gained just 42 orders over more than a decade, all but four of which have been delivered. One issue was that the A330 freighter's front landing gear has to be extended to overcome a tilt forward on the passenger version that complicates cargo landing. Boeing, by contrast, has logged 196 orders for its 767-300 freighter, almost five times more than the Airbus A330-200F, and has 61 undelivered planes. A freighter version of the A330neo Offering reduced fuel burn from its upgraded engines would at least provide Airbus with a product that could benefit once the 767 eventually retires. Boeing isn't currently planning an upgrade of the plane, which ceased production as a passenger model in 2014, and the replacement 787 doesn't come in a cargo version. As some of you may know, Amazon, the delivery service, is starting its own air shipping service, so the A330neo will be an important option to them. At this point in time, Amazon plans an initial fleet of 40 used 767 freighters for its prime air fleet, and has discussed ordering planes with Boeing in the past. The $1.5 billion air hub the company is plotting to build near Cincinnati suggests it will eventually have a far larger operation. It is usually said that cargo carriers typically value cost and capacity over performance. While Boeing's freighters at a list price of $212.2 million dollars, is cheaper, brand new cargo planes from both companies also face competition from inexpensive conversions of used passenger models. Airbus even has its own conversion program, holding a 30% stake in Dresden, which is based in Germany. The venture shipped its first A330 P2F, which stands for Passenger to Freighter, at the end of last year to the launch customer of DHL Express, a rival to UPS which has 8 of the planes on order and an option to take 10 more. In my personal opinion, I think it would be a great idea to have an A330neo freighter as it would give airlines more options when ordering cargo planes. I also think the Neo would look great in liveries such as DHL and FedEx. Tell us what you think below and whether you think the cargo version is a good idea or not. That's all for now guys, thank you very much for watching, make sure you follow us on Instagram and give this video a like. Also, subscribe to us for flight reviews and more videos like this. Oh.